one of my favorite things to do in here is to watch them make candies. It looks like they're making the little Mickey marshmallow things that she's putting. Those are marshmallows with chocolate and a, I don't know, that's like a white chocolate dip. And then they're gonna put the, the red sprinkles on for his shorts and the yellow, uh, what are those, uh, jelly beans, I guess? Maybe gummy bears, I mean, <laughs> gummy bears. Um, jelly bellies, but those are for his, sh uh, you know, the buttons for his shorts. And I don't know what the M&Ms are for. I can't tell what those are for. But look, here's some finished ones. Oh, look, they've got them on that, on that particular Mickey right there. That's interesting. And my other favorite thing to do is to see what's new with the cake pops and the uh, apple, uh, or uh, candied apples. I don't see anything new here this time, though. Pretty standard stuff. The Halloween stuff should be going out soon, I would think. Last day for that. Look, they've got their, uh, their own tree in here, too. I really like this tree. Very cute. Little, little honey, or uh, I cannot speak English today. A beehive. Oh, look at the little bees. Look at, that's so cute. And like these got maple all over them. Right, so just try to use your imaginations a little bit. This being, th that, there's a bar that runs along all this length right here, right? And this whole thing being full with mirrors and being able to look down here. And then on this wall, perhaps you might have, you know, the uh, singing uh, busts of the, I don't know, what, 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 what? He looks, he looks like he's wasted. Here's another cute little Christmas setup. We've got carrots and little pots. Look at that, it's so cute. And this must look really cool on the other side of that, but you got Winnie the Pooh next to a little tree with a Tigger onesie. Looks like a little Tigger onesie. You know, I never thought I'd say this, but seeing these little outfits makes me want to have another kid. Don't you think, isn't that, can you just imagine your, your little guy in a, in a Tigger onesie? Oh my god! She's so <laughs> she is, she's cute. What about you, kitty? Does this make you want to have a, have a little, have a little junior kitty? Maybe in like, years. <laughs> Your clock's not ticking yet, huh? <laughs> Look, they have another tree in here. Look at this tree. All right, so they've got some new ornaments. I'm really loving these, but I, I'd rather just collect them than have them as ornaments. But I mean, is that just too much or what? Fish are friends, not food. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Bruce. <laughs> and look, they've got my favorite, a big thunder. Oh, it's my thumb. Sorry for my thumb, everybody. Oh, look, oh, they got the dinosaur on there. Isn't that wonderful? Guys, how long were we in there? It's dark out now. Well, I was just a few minutes ago, I was out here doing a bit on the mile long bar and now it's dark outside. I think we spent a year in there. I, no. <laughs> if it was a straight year, it would still be loud outside. No. A little bit less than a year. A little bit more than a year, because it's darker. Right, yes, you're correct. Ah. You're correct. Damn it. Walking by the Haunted Mansion, I, I realized I've never been able to show you guys this year what it looks like at night. We're usually always here during the day, and I, this looks pretty cool. You never see the Haunted Mansion lit up like this, right? So let's let's get a little closer look at the Haunted Mansion Holiday Overlay in all of its lit glory. I found more pretty. We have to go investigate the pretty in New Orleans Square. Come on. I didn't get to show you guys last week or the week before, but they've already got the uh, New Orleans Square Christmas decorations up. But what I love to see are these colored lights. Let's take a look down here. It's actually not too bad down here. Huh. Yeah. It looks so pretty at night. Show you. 
So we're back in Adventureland, and here's the Bengal Barbecue again. And I, I, I wanted to come back here because I, ha I do have a little bit of history to share with, with you on this one. Now, it's not a lot, but uh, Bengal Barbecue is actually fairly new. It was built in 92, but it did replace something that had been here for quite a while. It was a location called Sunkist, I presume, which obviously by the name uh, infers that they were selling, you know, fruit drinks type, orange drinks maybe, because Sunkist, you know, they make a whole lot of fruit stuff uh, or fruit drinks. But uh, this, now that location had been here for quite a while. It was built in 62 and was here until 92 when Bengo Barbecue replaced it. But same kind of thing, they uh, served a lot of, you know, just light snacks, the hot dogs, chips, pretzels, and soft drinks. You got a lot of that back in the day at Disneyland, you know, and that's why it's so impressive what they've done with the menu these days. Even the Bengal barbecue, that's, you know, beef skewers, is that's a big switch from hot dogs, right? And if the name uh, Sunkist, I presume, rings any kind of bells, it's a play on the famous phrase, it's a historical phrase, actually. There was a, a famous, uh, uh, or a noted, what, I guess, philanthropist, uh, explorer, Dr. Livingston, and uh, he, he arrived in, in Africa, I believe, and he was meeting somebody, and the, and the guy said, Dr. Livingston, I presume, and it became sort of a, a, a renowned greeting, as it were, and you hear it in movies a lot now. As a matter of fact, that's what I thought. I thought it was a movie quote, but no, it's from history, which is, I thought was pretty cool. Uh, Dr. Livingston. So while we're here in Frontierland, what do you say? What What is that? Can't be real. Let's do this. Let's do Jungle Cruise at night before everybody else gets in. <laughs> when we walked by the Jungle Cruise when I was getting dinner at the Bengal Barbecue, which we just discussed at length, uh, the line was out the door. It was, it was a good 30 minutes at least. I guess people don't think it runs at night. Look at this, we're just definitely, oh my god, we are walking on. I have not cut one bit. That's good, what, it's the same boat. By all the beautiful people on the dock, you will never see them again. Yeah. Who oh. wants to see them, not me. All right, hello everybody. Welcome to the world famous Jungle Cruise. My name is Eric and I will be your skipper, your tour guide. Your yeah. you look over here, we have a 500 pound Bengal tiger. Yeah, these tigers can jump up to 25 feet. Luckily, we're only 20 feet. <laughs> yeah, he'll jump right over. That sounded like an explosion. That's not good at all. Uh, let's get closer. <laughs> That's all the movies do it. Danger, they just try to get closer. Oh, no. No, 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 look what these monkeys did to this camp. Look what they did to my new Jeep. You left the lights on. They have really gone bananas. We better see Zebras, lions, vultures, long neck cheetahs. Except, oh, I don't know who that one is though. They must be Ganu. <laughs> <gasps> look, look at that pride of lions. They're watching over that sleeping zebra. Oh, yes, folks, that's how all zebras sleep. That's how they sleep, okay, bud? <laughs> With their eyes wide open. <laughs> Next, slightly back. Oh, is right. Uh, but don't worry, I will get us out of this. Everybody cover your ears, please cover your ears. <laughs> Bang! <laughs> got him. <laughs> yeah, I even got the one in the trees up there. <laughs> Did you guys know that hippos like to hang out in trees? Alright folks, this is the moment you have all been waiting for. This is the moment, the beautiful, the amazing, the eighth wonder of the world. This is the backside of water! Yeah! Woo! Oh, two, eight! Oh, two, eight! Oh, two, eight! Yeah. Kids, don't try to see the backside of water at home. You will hit your head on the faucet. Don't ask how I know. Okay. Alright folks, with that being said, you guys have survived the world famous Jungle Cruise. Go ahead, give yourself a big round of applause. Yeah! Just a couple of reminders, please remain seated because if it's one thing we learned today is that only crazy people stand up in moving boats, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, remain seated because we're still having fun too. Yeah, we are. Ooh, lots of fun. Yeah, the night's not over yet. 